Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Life Size Live, the live web show produced entirely through the Life Size platform. I'm your host, Julian Fields, and with me today, we've got our CTO, Bobby Beckman. He's uh, here to talk about trends of video conferencing in the future. You got your crystal ball? I got it. All, All right. right, I'm ready to whip it out here. Let's hear it. Um, well, hello, everyone. Uh, so a couple of things I want to talk about today. The big thing that you always talk here is uh, what does AI mean for the uh, meeting room? Uh, and uh, you know, when everyone thinks AI, they, they think uh, sci-fi or robots or uh, something scary. Uh, but it's a lot simpler than that. Usually, uh, you know, the, the impact of AI is not there's not a big boom uh, where suddenly everything is uh, artificially intelligent. Right. Uh, there's a lot of uh, small stages where, where little improvements actually make a big big change in, in how we meet. Um, there's a there's two big areas of, of AI of how, it, how I see it impacting our meeting rooms. Uh, you know, one is machine vision. Uh, machine vision is interesting because uh, there's a few different things it can do. It can take a look at everyone that's currently on the on the call and uh, and 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 have stats about them, have analytics about them in real time. So you can imagine if you had a. Uh, uh, a virtual classroom, for example, that's a very common use case where uh, you have uh, one professor talking to 50 students all at once. Uh, there's no way for him to judge the engagement of uh, every student in his class. Okay. Uh, you can't feel, you know, if you're in a real classroom, you can feel the buzz, right? right. Um, you can say, okay, well, they're actually paying attention. But if you're virtual, you're just, you're just like this. Like, we, we, we don't know who's actually uh, like really engaged here. Sure. Uh, so it'd be great if we could have a... Uh, uh, some sort of service that would take a picture of everybody and instantly tell me uh, how they're feeling. Are they happy, sad, bored, and angry? Uh, are you getting riled up over something you're talking about? It's like a and, smile detection. Yes, yeah, smile detection. And so imagine if uh, you know I'm looking at this screen of all these 50 people, but over here to the right, I can kind of in real time see the sentiment of this uh, this phone call and see or this video call and see how it's going, and and maybe change my uh, my delivery in real time. Uh, or maybe change uh, how I, I deal with uh, people later. So if, if I'm a salesperson and I'm doing these calls all the time, I can judge the sentiment of my customer and maybe learn how quickly will they buy or, uh, or how much will they spend based on that first initial, do they emotionally get engaged versus uh, um, am I just selling them a bunch of features? Okay, so, that sounds like a real benefit there. Like Real benefit, yeah. I'm hosting a meeting with my team, getting their engagement is one thing, but talking to a potential customer and then actually being able to act on that right it's totally different <laughs> yes yes so so I think there's a, there's real benefit there's real yeah. ROI that you'll see it's it's uh, gonna be uh, interesting and I think those are there are pieces out there today uh -huh. that will let you do that okay. um, you're able to uh, uh, take those snapshots and send them some of the big cloud services and can get a lot of data about who's currently in, in the frame and, and what their what their mood is what their sentiment is okay. um, other parts of machine vision is just being able to know what's in the room so, uh, you know, there's a lot of work to build whiteboard cameras and to have separate, uh, you know, ways of sharing data. Uh, but if you have a couple of cameras up there, you're able to look at the entire room. And if I know I'm walking up to a whiteboard, well, there's nothing to stop us from taking the data from the whiteboard and, and cleaning it up and, and making it to presentation. So okay. instead of having to, oh, I have to go over here, flip the switch and, and point a camera or turn cameras, you'll see a lot of that with, yeah. our, with our stuff where like, oh, let's move the camera over here. And then all of a sudden, everyone over here is off frame forever because they'll forget or, uh, or you know, they, they, I'll hear a lot of like, oh, well, I'm on the whiteboard, you can't see what I'm doing right now. Right, and it sounds is, like that could also, if it's if it's rebuilding it, then it's saving it. So yes. you don't have to take the photos of the voice that's at right. the end of that's the day. Right. So it's part of the, it's part of the meeting, and okay. if you had recorded, it's part of that. So um, so I think that's that's really interesting. I think when you start to get to some of the more esoteric machine vision things, the things that are maybe further out, um, is the identification of people that are on there, right? Being able to walk into a room and immediately know who is, who's in the room, right? right. So may, imagine if uh, you're doing a meeting with 10 people, you know all 10 people are sitting in the room, yep. and uh, or you know who the, the meeting owner is. And I walk into a room, and I don't have to do anything, and instantly knows who I am, pops up the calendar on my screen, greets me, and uh, and I start my meeting, right, without me having to do anything. Right? I know so, we, we talked a lot about audio conferencing, and it's like, so-and-so joined the meeting, or, or who just joined, who just joined, and you hear yeah. this over and over again. Sounds like that uh, takes all of that out of the meeting, and you're just able to see exactly who's in the meeting. Yeah, you can take a look, and uh, you know, when, when we have individual participants on Live Size, and you can see everyone sure. who's in there, but when you are looking at a conference room with 10 people, I know uh, three of them. You may know three of them. It'd be great if I could uh, kind of just mouse over everybody in the room and, and learn a little bit about them. Yeah, that would be uh, awesome. You know, I can identify them and maybe 
Or LinkedIn snapshot profile show oh, yeah. pops up. I mean, there's all sorts of things. Go into sales, now you've got yeah, right. another tool. That yeah, like, like, who am I talking to? Like, is, is this the buyer or the guy that's just going to give me a hard time about my, my it's, Or do we have the CTO in the room? He wants to hear more about the, right. you know, the cool features right. versus... Yeah, exactly. That's great. Yeah, so... Um, so I think that's that's the, the the vision part of it. Okay, that's going to be a big thing, and I think you see parts of it already showing up, okay. and, and and they're already really real time, and it's just uh, integrating them and finding the right business cases and rolling them out. Um, the other part of AI is just the the, the voice side, the, the transcription side stuff yes. that's uh, been coming along, and I think now you're starting to see a lot of virtual assistants, right? So uh, everyone's very familiar with the Alexas of the world, where you can sure. kind of give them a command and get a response. Um, I think that what you'll see the next wave is where they're actually listening to the whole meeting, where you invite them into the meeting, and they are they show up and they listen to the meeting and they listen for actions. So they are the ones taking your uh, your action items. They are listening to you say, "Hey, uh, send me this presentation." Okay, well that that can actually hear that and, and distribute the presentation to everybody. That's awesome. It can uh, it can listen for commands. So if we have a little snippet that's really interesting. I can say, well, uh, hey, uh, re record this for me. I remember this this moment, and it can remember as, as, as that section meeting, so that later I can look at my notes and these are the points that I needed to remember. Uh, it can instantly transcribe uh, meetings, which is great, which makes them searchable all of yeah. a sudden and probably recommendable. Yes, like this had to do with this topic. Right, you just had a meeting about this topic. Are you interested in hearing about this? Stuff? Yeah, and so and so once you can uh, search things and, and and categorize them, then you can start to. Uh, analyze them and, and drill into it, and uh, just like you can drill into all written words today, now that that, that just becomes another source of data. So that's going to be a productivity enhancement. I think so. I think it'll just make it easier to it'll make these meetings uh, more efficient, right? So just like anything else, people don't want to go to more meetings for no good reason, right? So it's great to <laughs> it's great to go to a meeting and have actionable items come out of it right. that you can actually look back and say, okay, this was a this was a good meeting, and I'm glad I did it. Yeah, it rates the meetings for you. That way you can go back through your archive of the meetings you met. Man, this is cool. This, this all sounds really yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot of cool stuff, and, and it's not far away. right? I'm not talking about the, this is a 2025. No, this is our 2018 predictions. This is 2018 <laughs> predictions that, that have things that you can actually do today. Okay. Um, other other things are yeah going, yeah so uh, you know AI is a cool part but but uh, but you also have to make things work right so uh, the other uh, big uh, big initiative for us is, is just interoperability yeah um, people have devices uh, that are brand new or old but are incredibly good and uh, they don't want to get rid of their infrastructure but they want to be able to use them right and I think uh, a big push for us this year is is to have everything work together well. Uh, you know, a lot of times you'll have, uh, you know, earlier on, uh, interop meant barely working together. Right? So, <laughs> oh, it might be able to join the call if I spend 10 minutes trying to get this thing to work. Limited feature interop. Yeah. Uh, and I think we want to get to the point where, you know, we, we always want you to bring life-size gear. Sure. Because we, we like life-size gear. <laughs> but, you know, but there's other gear out there. And if you want to plug it in, and uh, we want it to work just as well. We want, we want you to have a great experience with, with, uh, with your meeting, no matter, no matter what you're using. And I think uh, that's going to be important for uh, for all collaboration because you don't know what people are going to use to collaborate. Um, if I'm using a, a ten year old codec, I'm using, using my mobile phone, uh, I'm on my desktop or my laptop, I'm on vacation. Uh, I think there was that little snippet of somebody on a ski slope. I don't know what, yeah, yeah, that exactly. was pretty cool, right? So they're they're sitting there on a ski slope and they're actually uh, connecting and they're having a great experience with me. So I think that the interop of all devices, uh, new old. Um, and in different ways, this is going to be um, this is a big thing for us at Life Size. Yep. I think we're seeing that uh, in, in 2018. Okay. Uh, what else are we doing? So, uh, well, uh, so there's 4K. I think is the yeah. It is, seems is like kind of a neat. Uh, we usually do see enhancements in TVs, <coughs> and then it's like, all right. Yeah, and finally it shows up in the in the cameras and the, in the meeting space, and it gets commercial. Right. So I think. Uh, now, I mean, I, I, I doubt that anyone's uh, buying anything. Usually, you certainly can, but 4K is just kind of an easy buy. The, you know, I, uh, I I can't believe that I have a I have a 4K monitor on my desk now that, that costs 500 bucks, yeah, right? Where where I think uh, for years I wanted my Apple Cinema Display because that was the, the, the Cadillac yeah. of these things, and and now I'm like, yeah, that <laughs> doesn't look as good anymore, right? And and this was just a five hundred dollar display and I think that's you're gonna see that everywhere. Like you, I think you're gonna to start to see the four K is just showing up everywhere and it looks fantastic. And and so I think what you'll see is that uh, and, and probably sooner than maybe most people think is that you know the four K is where, where we wanna go. We wanna see uh, we wanna see what it looks like in four K, have four K cameras, uh, four K presentations. 
uh, everything in 4K because as these monitors roll out, you're going to want to use them. Right. And the only way they're going to make any sense is if you have great sources. Right. And yeah, so, I mean, it's next step closer to face to face is being able exactly, to see every port. Exactly. Face. And, and uh, exactly. <laughs> and, and sometimes that could be like, I didn't want to see that. But uh, but it's also, uh, but it's amazing. And, and we've seen some 4K samples of, of what a meeting room looks like. And, and detail matters. And, you know, people will make all the jokes in the world like, do you really want to see that person in 4K? <laughs> but uh, you do. It's surprising that when you get to see the detail of the room around you, and uh, and it's crystal clear, and you get to see all the details around that person, it does become more real. Right. I mean, it's an actual jump, just like uh, you know, people barely remember what uh, what the jump was like to HD because now they, they think it's it's like that. But anytime you accidentally watch an old sports clip and you see it, and you're like, <laughs> that was really 2001. Right? You, you're, How did you're they shocked. know that he made that? Yeah. <laughs> How could they have actually watched that? And I think uh, as you start to see the 4K, and, and as you start to see the 4K sources, right? So when you see a 4K video now, and it's just uh, upscaling, it's like, that's okay. But when you see the 4K source on a 4K monitor, it's incredible. Yeah. I mean, it, it, you really are getting to the point where like, it's unbelievably, uh, a good, just a good, good experience. All right. So. I think we're, we're running close to time. Okay. I don't know if you have any last, uh, last departing thoughts on what's gonna happen this year. I, I think uh, I think lots of places are lots of companies are building really cool things. Yeah. Uh, you know, life size is one of them, and uh, and I think the 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 great thing about it is we we want to just see what the great things are and, and make them work together, right? So I think uh, you'll see a lot of that where uh, um, lots of good movement forward by everybody, and so it's 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 always fun to be part of it and uh, and see what we can build in uh, 2018. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I noticed you didn't say teleportation is going to happen this year. So, in the meantime, we got video conferencing. Enjoy it. Uh, enjoy the best that's going to that's going to come this year. Anyway, we are, we are working on that. By the way. Okay, good. <laughs> Special teams, but not yet. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks.